Hi folks and welcome back. Uh, this video is a gear video for a, a trip that I've got coming up this weekend. Really looking forward to this trip. It's been in the pipeline for some time. It's going to be great to get back on the water and it's going to be really good to spend some time with another YouTuber. Now if you haven't come across Andy's channel, it's called Kent Survival. It's an amazing channel, loads of really good stuff on there. He's got uh, trips he's been on, um, he's got a camp that he's been building in the woods and adding to all the time. He does, he does overnight camps there, um, he does cooking, he, he builds bits of furniture, um, general bush, bushcraft, um, really good stuff. He also has uh, a whole load of reviews. Uh, kit reviews and um, and uh, sort of MRE and food reviews. He does cooking. He does wilderness skills. You name it. It's on there. Really good channel. So if you if you haven't check it out, go across and give him a look. We're going to be paddling the River Waveney. We're going to put in at Skull, which is the the furthest upstream really that you can canoe. Uh, beyond that, it, it just becomes too choked up with weeds and you can't really get through. So we're going to start at Skull and paddle out towards the sea and see how far we get in three days. We'll be taking all of our gear with us, including food. Um, there are portages, some of them easier than others. So my plan is to go as lightweight as possible. Okay, let's have a look and see what I'm taking. Okay, canoe wise, I'm not taking my cedar strip canoe. Um, it's just not big enough for this trip. Um, it's all right if there's just two of you um, and you're out for the day, but if you want to take gear as well, it's not really big enough. So um, we're going to go in this. This is my old plastic canoe. This is a Water Quest 14. Um, it's shorter than my Cedar, Cedar Strip canoe, but it's considerably wider. So uh, therefore a lot more stable um, and will be higher in the water. In the middle of the canoe is a third seat. We won't be needing the seat, but the, um, the seat lifts up and there's a useful storage compartment underneath, which we'll probably use for keeping food in. There's also a watertight um, hatch to the left-hand side and drinks holders and, and a little tray on the other side will be useful for keeping kit in. Paddle-wise, I've got a pair of Carlisle beaver tail paddles. Um, they're, uh, they're good all-rounders, they're good in deep water, they're not too bad in shallow water, um, and they'll be, they'll be just the job. Importantly, they're both the same length, and um, it will be clear why that is important uh, in a minute. All of my gear, apart from my camera gear and what I'm going to be wearing, fits in this bag here. This is a 30-litre Alpkit um, Gordon, I think it was called. I think it's called a Gordon pack. Uh, waterproof dry bag with a couple of mesh pockets on the side um, and everything I need fits in here. Right, sleeping bag. I've got a mountain equipment Skywalker. This is an ultralight two season sleeping bag. Um, really, really compact, really light, which is why I'm taking it. You know, we're in, we're in June now. I'm not going to need anything warmer than that for sure. So, uh, that's my sleeping bag. I've got a Montane insulated coat. Um, this is, rather than taking a fleece, this is lighter and warmer than a fleece. So uh, that'll be my, my warm coat to put on in the evening. Or if the, if the temperature drops between now and then. It's a Primer Loft filling. It's really nice and warm and it, and it stays quite warm even if it gets wet. I have a small ground sheet to put in my shelter. This is what I'm taking for shelter. This is a DD 3x3 tarp um, and I've made a, a door for it. Um, that will be on another video which will be out shortly. Um, so there's a tarp with a door. Um, the poles for this um, are going to be my paddles. Um, I've, about a year ago I did a video on, on how to do this um, this tarp tent configuration using using uh, canoe paddles. So that's what I'm planning on doing for this trip as well. Um, there's plenty of room for me and all my kit. So, tarp. I've got a 12 centimeter zebra billy can um, with dishwashing kit, my brew kit, some oil, and um, in the top there's a little pouch here which has some uh, Esbit solid fuel tablets. I'm going to put my Tranja burner in there so, so I can use it for um, quick brews. So that's going to be my main my main cooking pot. I'm taking my honey stove. I did Amanar about taking my uh, firebox, but I decided to keep the weight down. So I'm taking the honey, which is much much lighter um, and it does the same does the same thing. It's a it's a, a wood burning twig stove. 
um, compact, light. Yeah, great, great bit of kit. I'm also taking my titanium plate, which I use as a frying pan. Um, and I've got a transit handle in there and some other bits and pieces which sort of live in there with it, like cutting board. That lot weighs next to nothing. So um, that's earned its place in my kit. I've got waterproofs. I have a full set of Paramo waterproofs here. <clears throat> I love the Paramo gear. Um, you know, I, I personally think it works much better than your kind of like mem normal membrane waterproofs. Works much better in my opinion. So trousers and, uh, and top. I've got water bottle, cup, a lid for my cup and my spoon. I'm only taking one water bottle. We're canoeing, um, so obviously there is water in the river. Um, however, the water in uh, the River Waveney is, is not the best quality. It's, it's, um, there's a lot of uh, arable farmland in the area, um, and uh, as a result, you get a lot of runoff into the, wa into the, uh, into the water system. Um, and in the past, I've just filtered and boiled water, and that's, that's been fine, I've had no problems. Um, but I decided uh, in a moment of madness this week to order a filter. So I've just ordered, um, I can't even remember what it's called now, but it's, it's the only one that will deal with um, pesticides and viruses as well as bacteria and disease and, and all the other things that the, the other filters remove. Um, yeah, a really good bit of kit. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. So I can just filter water straight out the river for drinking, for cooking and whatnot. So I'm only gonna take one bottle of water and uh, I can just top that up with filtered water as we go along. Um, you know, it's quite a weighty thing, this water filter. I think it weighs about 600 grams, but you know, that's saving me having to take multiple bottles. A liter of water is, uh, is, a, is a kilogram, isn't it? Isn't that right? So, um, you know, the filter weighs less than a liter of water. So in my mind, that's, that's a no brainer, isn't it? So uh, yeah, the filter is to come, although I haven't got it to show you because I haven't arrived yet. Head torch, um, you know, obviously, just for seeing, but also for filming. Um, I've got my possibles pouch. In here I've got all the other bits and pieces I'm gonna need. I've got my fire steel, I've got tinders, I've got a small knife for cutting um, food and vegetables and whatnot. I've got a small torch, sharpening kit, you know, the, all, the, all the bits and pieces that you'd normally need. My, fi my first aid kit is in here as well, incidentally. I've taken my knife. It's a stainless steel knife, so I haven't got to worry about the damp and it, and it rusting. I'm taking a Barco Laplander folding saw, just for smallness. And I've got a pair of work gloves. Other stuff, my kneeling mat, which um, will be in the canoe with me, I'll kneel on that, and that will also be my sleeping mat for, for at night time. It's an inch thick, it's really comfortable. So I'll have that. Camera gear is gonna live in here. I'm gonna take my DSLR that I'm filming on now, um, a small point and shoot camera, and uh, a GoPro. Maps of the route and a compass. Clothing wise, I'm taking a merino wool long sleeve base layer. This one's made by Alp Kit. Um, really good, really warm um, and dries nice and quickly. I've got my Falraven Vita Pro trousers. I've got some neoprene boots, which I'm gonna wear. Um, they're great for in and out of the water and um, they're the only shoes I'm gonna take. So I've got a pair of seal skin socks um, to wear around camp in the evening once I'm, once I'm set up. Um, you know, I can walk around and then they're waterproof, so uh, they'll be fine. A pair of sunglasses and my buoyancy aid. It's a Nookie Ranger, it's a really great buoyancy aid. Loads of pockets and things on it, a big mesh pocket you can put a hydration bladder in the back of if you want. Yeah, good, good bit of kit. And that's it kit-wise. The only thing I haven't mentioned is food. Um, that hasn't been finalised yet. Uh, we need to decide who's getting what and um, and what we're going to have. I think the idea is to um, is to cook communally, which will be great. Um, but I have a dry bag uh, ready for the food to go in, and that will just live in that central compartment in the canoe that I showed you earlier, uh, along with the water filter. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm really excited about the trip. I can't wait. It's only a few days to go. We've got a few details to finalise, but um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really good. We're getting dropped off at the start, and we're going to get picked up at the end, so we haven't got to worry about uh, leaving vehicles unattended. Um, you know, we can just get on the water and, uh, and enjoy. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.